Hello there and welcome back. In today's video we'll talk about widget translation and how you can translate the widgets on your WordPress site yourself. WordPress widgets allow you to add content to your website sidebar or footer area. Some common examples would be listing posts or product categories, adding a post archive to your blog, or adding a search box. Since plugins will often define their own widgets, the options here are unlimited. But for this tutorial, I've set up the footer of this blog with different types of widgets so we can translate them all using Translate Press. So let's get going. You can start by installing and activating the free Translate Press plugin from WordPress.org. Once you've activated the plugin, navigate to Settings, Translate Press, and choose the languages you want to make your website available in. We're now ready to start translating our previously added widgets. For this, simply navigate to a page where the widgets are displayed and from the admin bar at the top, click Translate Page. This will open up the Translate Press visual interface where you should see a live preview of your site, much like the native WordPress customizer and the translation sidebar on the left. I'll change the display language here to my secondary one so I can see my edits in real time. So to translate the widget, hover over its text and click the blue pencil icon that shows up. Now, enter your desired translation in the sidebar, just like this. The same approach works for any other widget you might have implemented, regardless of its type, location, or whether it was added by a plugin, theme, or WordPress itself. As you can see here, I've also added a language switcher widget to my footer. So since we're on the topic, let me show you how to add one to your site too, as a little bonus. I'll link a video explaining how to add one using Elementor, but the process is just as easy with the Gutenberg editor as well. Simply go to the widget section, choose the type of widget you want to add, I'll go with the sidebar this time, and add the shortcode element. Then paste the language switcher shortcode in it, and that's it. You should now be able to see a language switcher widget on the front end of your site. Now, if you're looking to save some time, besides manual translation, Translate Press also supports automatic translation. So, to make things even easier, you can simply enable automatic translation from the Translate Press settings and have your WordPress widgets translated in no time. The plugin lets you connect to the Google Translate or DeepL API to use automatic machine translation on all your site's content. We do have a dedicated video on this topic, so you can click the link in the upper right corner to watch that one next. And there you go! You now know how to translate your WordPress widgets, both manually and automatically, using the free Translate Press plugin. For more information, check the Translate Press documentation linked in the description below, and for more useful WordPress tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching!